Hi guys and welcome back to another video. As you can see, I look a little bit, I look a bit crazy. And that is because this week, this month, this year has been hectic. As you guys know, I finally, finally, finally got to tell you the name of my brand new activewear line, Honor Active. You guys have been so supportive and honestly, thank you so, so much for being so, so, so positive and also so supportive. I literally, okay, so here's the thing. I've never launched my own actual product. Everything's always been digital and I've always worked with other clothing brands and other brands. So to launch your own actual items and launch the name of it, it's like a whole different ball game. So to see so many of you supporting the socials and there's not even anything posted there, there's like two posts and so many of you are so supportive, so many of you have applied for Honor to be part of the campaign. Thank you so, so much. We had nearly, I think like 25,000 of you clicked the email marketing alone in four days and application wise, it was roughly 18,000. So <laughs> Sarah's here, because me and Sarah Oh my literally. God, I'm looking awful, but here I am. No, she doesn't look awful. She, she always <laughs> looks great, but me and Sarah literally are going through every single one together. We're gonna funnel it down. We're gonna read your stories. We're gonna see why you should be part of Honor. So thank you so much. And if you don't get selected, don't worry. This, like I said to you, this company is as much as it is mine, it is yours. You're gonna be part of something else. There's always gonna be things going on. You're part of the journey and that's what's so incredible about this. On top of all of that, I had a lot of shoots going on. I'll pop and insert some images here, but that's for another exciting project. And then finally, just finally, the final thing that I've been working on that I'm gonna announce on this video, right? It's actually launched today. Today, I launched a brand new eight week program on the Tone and Sculpt app. It's called Back to Action. Let's just insert the campaign video right now. I've got a question for you. Who's ready to go back to the gym? Tone and Sculpt has you covered with this brand new eight week guide. Designed for all abilities and you in mind. We will help you get back to the gym safely and effectively for you to smash your goals. So let's get back to action. Did you see it? Did you see it? Getting you back to the gym the most safest and effective way possible. In all honesty, this guide is like no other guide that I've created. I've been doing trials and errors, trials and errors, testing workouts out, Scrapping things you would have seen on my story. I'll insert some footage here. But I've been, I'm so, 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 so happy with this program. In this vlog, I'm actually gonna be taking you through one of the workouts. We're actually in an Airbnb right now because we've been shooting really exclusive content. And downstairs, there's a gym, and I'm gonna take you through one of the workouts. On top of the new guide being released today, there's actually a discount code of 20% off on all subscriptions for 48 hours, that's it. So if you watch this video after, I'm so sorry, I love you, but there will be other discount codes, I promise. But 48 hours, we put a sale on, so you can go back to the gym effectively, safely, and actually look forward to a brand new challenge, which is the eight week guide. So my hand is about to snap off, I've been holding this camera for way too long. What I'm gonna do now is actually gonna record some more footage. Here are all of Sasha's lights. Sarah's working on Honor stuff. She's here, just wave, you look great, don't oh worry. Gosh. Oh no, Sarah, shut up. And then Sasha is working on. Hmm. What is it? Oh, what is it? Oh, what is it? There's so many things this team works on, but Sasha and Sarah are literally with me all the time because Sasha does the videography and the edits that Tone has sculpt, and then Sarah is my PA, so she's literally with me every step of the way. We literally are one person, and the funniest thing is Sasha introduced me to Sarah, and Sasha was like, I have someone who I think will be the perfect, perfect PA for you, and I was like, oh, you know, I don't think so, like being like pe a pessimist, and then I met Sarah, and it was just like, 
instant. We just knew we got on, we knew we could vibe with each other, but also have fun outside of work and have fun during work, and that's a rarity to find. So, thanks, Sarah. <laughs> Look at her. Feeling the love. She's like feeling. It's mutual. Sasha, I'm gonna go change. I'm gonna go put on today's outfit. It's gonna be the black on a set, and I'm gonna go through the whole thing with you guys. So I've got the black cycling shorts today from Honor. Should I just show you a little snippet? So this waistband, I don't think you actually realize this waistband, it took me five freaking attempts. And I still think it can just come a little bit lower, but I'll let you guys decide and let me know in the future when you have the, the Honor um, clothing and you're trying it on, just give me your feedback. The, the Honor logo is not obnoxious. Like I didn't want it to be in your face. I wanted it to be so subtle and I placed it in two positions, so left and right. The reason being is depending on where you take your selfie, we will see the Honor logo, haha. <laughs> the reason I did the contouring like this, I didn't put a lot of contouring, I wanted everything to be super simple and sleek. If you can see here, it looks like your waist is coming in, so I designed it so it brings your waist in and it brings your hips out, so it gives you that hourglass figure, which I absolutely adore, that nice, strong feeling, yes. So as you can see here, that's the contouring. The fabric is thick, but it's not too thick to the point where you'll get so unbelievably hot. It's super stretchy, I can't stretch it with one hand. And then you flip it over, and can you see how these are not ridiculously short? Like, they're such a good length. I didn't want them going up our, our cracks, you know? Bit of modesty here and there, don't know anyone. So I only added a bit of contouring here, no contouring elsewhere, I didn't add any booty contour. I felt like with booty contour, it's one of those things where it's hit or miss. So it's either gonna be too high, too low, it's never really gonna be perfect because our booties are all in different places, you know? So, yeah, super sleek, super, super, super nice. Just to the point, you know? That's exactly what I want Honor to be, to the point. You don't have to think about it, you just put it on and you know it will work. That's it, that's what active wear is all about. Putting something on, feeling good, keeping you tight, keeping your snatched, but it actually is functional. So I'm gonna put this on right now. I've got them on, can you see? So nice, look at that, it's a perfect fit. And then, I ran up the stairs, that's why I'm out of breath. But here we go, look at that. Look at that, crisp. Also, you see how this is like small? I've actually tucked it in, but look how long it can be. So it's multi-purpose. Can you see that? So, I designed it in a way that you can have it like this, but also tuck it in, and it will still look good in the back. Oh, look at this. Look at this, guys. It looks so nice. Sleek. To the point. Yes. To the back. So, as you can see, so, so, so nice. Oh, look at that. And guys, there's adjustable straps. I've put adjustable straps in it, and it's like this silky kind of feel, and it doesn't feel tight. You know when sometimes the band just feels too tight, it just feels just right, but I know this is just the first collection. I know, you know how I feel about supportive bras, so I know I'm gonna definitely, definitely kind of nail it. I know I will, just give me a bit of time, but I will nail it. But uh, yeah, support-wise, out of 10, do you know what, I'd say a good, I'd say a good eight, I'd say a good 7.58, yeah, defo. We're gonna get it to 10, but that'll be a separate collection. We don't need to worry about that just for now. But definitely a 7.5, a 100%. Anyways, I need to go put my hair up and block my skin a bit because I have one workout video to do for an exciting project coming in August for Facebook. And then I'm actually gonna eat some food. I've gotta get my toenails done. I've got an ingrown nail again. I always get them, guys, it's so bad. I'm not even gonna show you because that's just buzz. So I've got to get my ingrown <laughs> nails out and then eat some food and then I've got to train and I'll take you for an entire, entire workout with me. Okay, 
So, workout video done. Sasha, how did you find it? Wow. Sasha records, and at the end of the workout, he always goes, I feel tired. And I'm like, bitch, I'm working out, not you. And he's like, I know, but just watching you just drains me. Exactly. I'm like, ah. But anyway, look at this. Absolutely no sweat marks. Absolutely nothing. Mwah. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm actually gonna go get some food and ingredients. I'm gonna make us all lunch. I'm fancying like that salmon salad that I've done before. So I I put the salmon in the oven and then it's a spinach based salad, some pita, some hummus. So I'm gonna make that. We're gonna make that together. And then I'm gonna do some more admin for Tone and Sculpt and also just check what you guys have been tagging me on. I love, love, love having a cup of tea and checking my mentions. That's like my favorite thing to do throughout the day. And then, Sasha, we're gonna work out together again. <laughs> <laughs> Which move are you, me or Sasha? I wanna show you guys one of the workouts from the eight week guide. I think you're really gonna enjoy it because I'm actually not gonna in include a lot of machines. It's all gonna be free weights and mostly free weights and cable, but that's about it. That's the whole aim of the guide. The guide goes like, pretty much you're doing free weights for the first chunk, and then I introduce you into cables, supersets, machines, because I don't want to overwhelm you. The worst thing I could possibly do is say, here's a guide, go to a machine, and absolutely wreck your body. It's about progression. So if you're going back to the gym, please, please, please avoid going crazy. Avoid the rep ranges going too much, just take your time. It's the best thing that you're gonna do with yourself. And that's why the back to action workout guide is perfect. That's exactly what it does. All right, time for food. Lunch is served. We have spinach, tomato, olives, cucumber, spring onions, some mozzarella bowl, balls, bowls, bowls, <laughs> and some red pepper hummus, salmon, and pita. I love making this. This is just to the point. It has everything I love in it. So we're gonna eat this up, guys. Get some work done. Here you go, Sarah. Thank you. Okay, so we're in the gym and I'm gonna take you through a pool session. With the eight week guide, what I've done is the first four weeks I've kept it lower, upper, full, abs and cardio. Then after four weeks, I've changed it to pull, push, quads and calves, hamstring and glutes, and then full body. The reason I've done that is like I said, don't go straight into the gym and just bombard yourself with everything. Take your time. Also, if it's echoing here, I'm really sorry. We're just gonna have to make do, but just try and listen to what I'm saying. Okay, so I'm all warmed up. The first thing we're gonna do, I have it here, is we're gonna do a lap pull down, wide grip, followed by a bent over barbell row. This is, by the way, this is actually week five. This is week five of the eight week guide. So then we're, we're doing bent over T-bar row, then we're supersetting, 
a straight bar cable face ball with a straight bar bicep curl. So a straight bar is this. So essentially, what we're gonna give you is you're gonna be pulling into a face ball. And then once you complete your rep range, you're gonna lower this down. And then stay, and stay here and do your bicep curl. And then to finish off, we have another bicep movement. Pull sessions consists of back and biceps. You're in a pulling motion. Whenever you're doing a bent over row, you're obviously working your back, that's your primary muscle. But if, especially if you're doing inverted, you're gonna contract that bicep as well. So that's the reason a lot of people pair them together. Push sessions, it's shoulders, triceps, and chest. You're pushing. You're pushing down tricep pushing up and then pushing along with your chest. So always just remember that. Pull, back and biceps, push, chest, shoulders and triceps. So I have the cables to work with in this gym. I actually don't have a lap pull down machine. So I'm gonna show you how you can make use of the equipment that you have around you. Now it says wide grip. If you don't have a wide grip, I'm looking around, I don't have a wide grip. What we're going to do instead is actually use this bar. I'm going to follow it up here. And then I'm going to come down. It's a really good trick. Really good trick. You lock your feet in. You keep your back straight. Retract back. Pull down. Just like so. Contract. Come back up. Keeping your wrist tight. Ready, Sasha? Mm -hmm. So, as you can see, my thumbs are out. The reason being is if I hold the grip too much, you're gonna contract your forearms a bit too much. So by extracting your thumb from the grip, you're working on using those lats much, much more as opposed to gripping and pulling so much with your wrist and your forearm. So that's a little pro tip right there. Also, don't lean completely back. You want to keep everything in alignment, bring your arms forward and up, you want to retract back, bring in the bar as close to the chest as possible, squeeze before releasing and controlling your negatives. So that's that pull down. Okay, moving on to bar bell bent over row. This exercise is by far one of my favorite exercises to do on back day. If you're doing inverted or neutral, it's completely down to you. It is gonna target different areas of your back. If you want a separate video on grip and how it differs on what it contracts, let me know in the comments below. I can do that for you, no problem. Also on the Tone & Sculpt app, there's literally methods to everything, so it will kind of tell you what you're working, primary and secondary muscles, which is key, because I want you to know what you're actually working when you're training that area of your body. So barbell here, what you're gonna do is you're gonna bend your knees, you're gonna push back, so you're not gonna just lean forward, you're gonna bend your knees and push back. You're gonna keep your core nice and tight. I'm doing an inverted row. So I'm bringing my hands a little bit wider than shoulder width apart. Thumbs out, lifting the weight up. This is the important bit, ready? Retract, back. Did you see that? I'm not like this. I'm keeping everything nice and controlled. Coming down, just like so. I'm gonna row, pull it in with my elbows and go down.
Okay, so face balls. It's a straight bar face ball. The reason why I've kept it straight bar is when you're in the gym, the last thing you want to do is looking around for different grips, especially if it says something like a rope face ball and then a straight bar bicep curl. That means you need two grips. That means you're occupying two grips. And that means without a doubt, you're going to annoy someone. In the gym, it's all about being really polite and always just allowing people to use as many of the things as possible and not being greedy. So that's why I kept it straight bar. And it's really important for me to always keep it very seamless throughout each workout. So when you're in a section, you're in a section, and then you don't require like multiple machines at once. For example, you'll never see me put a leg press and a leg extension in a superset. That will never happen. The reason being is because imagine the leg press is across the room and then the leg extension is all the other way. You're just gonna drain yourself. It's gonna take so long and also it's gonna annoy a lot of people. Not that you should worry about too much what other people think, but you know, always do something keeping everyone in mind. That's how I see it, but always do something for you. Anyway, so that's me preaching done. Face pull. So we're gonna come down on one knee. You're gonna put up and you're gonna pull towards your face. Contract, release, pull. Good job. Okay, so I kept you by the cables. That's the superset. On weeks five, six, seven, and eight on the eight week guide is where I've started to introduce machines, supersets, drop sets. The reason being, I will never be the trainer and your coach that tells you to go back to the gym go lift heavy, go do crazy amounts of machines, overwhelm yourself, and then the next day you can't move. So we're starting off with free weights, we're adding maybe a barbell here and there, then we're progressing to machines, then we're progressing to supersets. So by the time you finish the eight week guide, you can automatically go onto the advanced level on the Tonoscope gym guide. So you would have pretty much skipped beginner and Intermediate, so you would have gone already to advance if you finished the whole eight week bracket of this program. It's designed to get everything done in eight weeks so you're ready to go to advanced level. And this is perfect for someone who was definitely a gym goer, has not been to the gym for a while, especially because of COVID, and you want to get back into the swing of things. So, this program is perfect for you. I'm going to be doing this program as well, although I have a gym at home. It's been like hit and miss. I've had to do more free weight stuff so I can accommodate workouts for you guys at home so we can do this together. So now that I know the gyms are open, my slots are booked in and I'm ready to go back. But I'm still keeping those free weights, those body weights in there and creating like a hybrid workout. Okay, we have one more exercise and that's a bicep curl using dumbbells. Yet again, free weights, keeping it simple.
out of breath. So as you saw, the workout is consisting of a lot of different movements and a lot of different things all at once, but it works really seamless. So what I did for the eight week guide was on weeks one, two, I used one barbell on each workout. Weeks three and four, two barbells. Weeks five and six is when I'm incorporating machines and then that's when I incorporate supersets and drop sets. Everything's designed with you in mind. So nothing is overwhelming, nothing is suffocating you, everything is done safely. I can't express how important it is to just take your time with things. If you haven't been to the gym in over four months and you were such a gym goer, and if you haven't been to the gym in over four months, you're gonna feel it when you go back, I'm gonna be honest with you. So the worst thing you can do is go to the gym, have a lot of ego, and then just hurt yourself. So it's all about that mobility, that getting you back into things with free weights, body weights, barbell, and then cables, and then supersets, and really progressing. So, and I'm gonna get changed, I'm gonna drive back home, because it's the last day at this Airbnb. Guys, I'm back home, I put a face mask on, I've got my Stranger Things t-shirt and some pajama bottoms and I am ready to just chill. I've literally been non, non, non-stop with everything going on. It's time to just chill and I cannot express the importance of just relaxing and doing something for yourself. God, we all need it once in a while. Anyway, the face mask I'm using, I picked this up the other day um, when I was like shopping for perfume. It's Glam Glow. This is the brightening treatment. Whoa, am I gonna be a superstar? <laughs> so I picked up some perfumes and I'm gonna show you some of my favorite perfumes. This duo together, I'm gonna, I'm gonna reveal the secret. Every single time I've done a pop-up, a meet and greet, every single time I've done anything like that, Whenever I wear this combo, everyone's always like, you smell so good. So, I'm about to reveal it to you. Number one, Gucci Bloom. This is the best, but we're gonna mix it in with a little bit of Chloe. This one here. And then, if you really wanna spice it up, oh, do I tell you this? I think I'm gonna share it with you just cause I love you so much. This one here. This is from Le Labo, Le Labo, another 13. You mix those three together, I swear to God, every single person you meet is gonna be like, why do you smell so good? Why do you smell so good? What is that? And you're gonna be like, this is the Christmas special. <laughs> it's the Christmas special. And then everyone's gonna be like, what's that? What's that? Is that perfume? You'd be like, nah, bitch. It's three perfumes together. <sighs> Does it cost me an arm and a leg? Yes. It does, but it's one of the few things I will spend money on is perfume. Don't ask me why. I just think like when you smell good, you feel good. You're like, ooh, ooh, ooh. So I'm gonna wash this off in a minute and I'm gonna watch a movie and I'm gonna call it a day. I hope you enjoyed this vlog style video. Let me know in the comments below because I never do vlogs. So I feel like so weird. I'm always either doing a specific video or workout video. So let me know what you thought in the comments below. And if you get the eight week guide, let me know also in the comments below. Oh my God, I found out recently that some of the gyms in the States and America have been shut down. I am so sorry. Like. Oh, this whole COVID situation is just breaking everybody's hearts, but I hope that you're staying safe and I'm, and I'm sure everything will be back to normal soon. So let's all just stay positive. All right, guys, I love you always and forever and I will see you in another video very, very soon. Love you. Peace. Peace out. Eight town. Mm -mm. Okay.